Zimio Laumoja, One Kenya Coalition political party executive director Rafael Tuju, has denied allegations by poll body IABC chairperson Wafula Chebukati and commissioners Professor Abdi Yakub Gulie and Boya Molu that he wanted presidential election results moderated in favor of Raila Odinga. Well, while admitting that he was at the bombers of Kenya on the said date, Tuju denied making any offer to reward the commissioners as as Ayub Abdi Kadir tells us in the following report. See you later. Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Political Party Executive Director Rafael Tuju was the subject of a series of allegations. As detailed in an affidavit filed at the Supreme Court by IBC Chairman Wafula Chebukati, Commissioners Boya Molu and Professor Abdi Yakub Gulie. Key among the allegations is that together with former Attorney General Amos Wako, he tried to influence the commissioners to moderate the August 9th presidential election results in favor of the Azimio La Umoja presidential candidate Raila Odinga, or in the alternative, trigger a runoff by declaring that none of the presidential candidates met the constitutional threshold Thank of you. attaining more than half of the votes cast, allegations that Tuju dismissed. I did try on several occasions to get audience with the commissioners and get audience specifically with Commissioner Chebukati after it became apparent that Professor Gulie was not able to address the issues that I'd brought up with him. Tojo, however, admitted meeting Chebukati at the bombers of Kenya on the date stated by the chairperson Chebukati, but insists the subject of the discussion had nothing to do with the moderation or alteration of the presidential results. The issue I'd brought up with him was that I'd received intelligence from one of the IBC officials who complained that some Form 34A were being brought down and they are being replaced by other Form 34A. Tuju refuted the three commissioners' affidavits that he had offered rewards if they agreed to alter the presidential results in Odinga's favor, as allegedly requested. For him to claim that I made some offers to him in front of those ten is a tara diddle. Is a tara diddle. Petty lie. Further, Tuju says his attempts to meet Chebukati were thwarted, adding that he forced his way into the room where Chebukati, the chief executive officer Marjan Hussein Marjan, and Commissioner Boyamolo were meeting at the time. Meeting Chebukati, according to Tuju, nearly triggered a scuffle between his security team and that of the IEBC chairman. I tried several times to access the chairman, and actually a day passed. And the following morning when I came and I insisted I was going to see him, he had issued instructions to a senior police officer by the name Samuel Arab Kimel, who actually physically blocked me from trying to get into IBC uh, proceedings at Bomas of Kenya that day. I happened to have known the back door, and I used a little bit of my public relations with the officers at the back, and I managed to get in. The former Rarieda lawmaker turning the heat on Chebukati, Commissioners Molo and Professor Gulie, claiming they had initiated a meeting with him at a secret location within the current suburb of Nairobi County. I want Mr. Gulie, or Professor Gulie, and Mr. Molo to explain what they came to do in my house. What was that discussion about? And the drift of that discussion was more of auctioneers rather than commissioners. I want them to say they never came to my house. I will make the CCTV cameras available at my house so that those can be investigated by the DCI, whether I'm saying the truth or not, because to my house they came. The litany of allegations and counter-allegations between Tuju and Chebukati accessed at the IBC is part of the lots of document the Supreme Court judges will have to deal with this week as they hear and eventually determine the nine presidential election petitions filed at the Apex Court. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.